It's the video we affectionately call Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. It's 21 News. Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It was another very July-like day today. We're going to do this one more time on Wednesday before somewhat cooler, more typical May air returns for the end of the week. But we did 86 at the airport today, 87 in Pittsburgh, and it was a record breaker at Hopkins Airport in Cleveland where the mercury touched 90 this afternoon, 86 in Erie, PA. And boy, it's a beautiful July-like evening, but it is warm outside, 86 degrees still at this early evening hour in Columbiana. Along the traffic circle, hardly a cloud in the sky, and the sky will stay clear for much of the night tonight. But as I talked about last evening, we have an ongoing high-end severe weather event from southern Minnesota down through Iowa into Missouri, parts of Illinois and Wisconsin also threatened this evening. There's already been some really catastrophic damage in parts of Iowa with high-end tornadoes <clears throat> when the storm surveys are done. Judging by the videos and pictures I've seen, I wouldn't be surprised if we had some at least EF3 tornadoes earlier on today in parts of western <clears throat> and central Iowa. And we're uh, far from finished. This severe weather episode will continue for much of the evening into the overnight. Now, as this system comes east tomorrow, this is what the Storm Prediction Center outlook uh, looks like for our Wednesday. They painted a good chunk of central and eastern Ohio and all of western PA in the level two slight risk of severe weather. If you think of our severe weather scale as a one to five scale, it's a level two. This is something we see fairly frequently around here, this risk category uh, during the spring and summer seasons. I don't think this is likely to be nearly as high end of an event in our part of the country as off to our west in parts of the upper Midwest and the mid Mississippi Valley. But that being said, <clears throat> the atmosphere may, you know, be, be have some tricks up its sleeves uh, tomorrow afternoon because the air mass will be unstable. Now the wind shear, the changing of the wind direction and speed as you go up above our heads, that's not through the roof tomorrow, but the instability will be. It's going to be steamy. Temperatures getting into the 80s. The dew points are going to start coming up overnight into tomorrow morning. And that combination will make for a, a pretty unstable air mass. Air parcels will have no trouble rising tomorrow. And we have a trigger with a cold front approaching. Now, it's a pretty weak front, um, but it is a triggering mechanism. And with just enough wind energy aloft, you know, I think there's going to be a scattering of showers and storms. And I want to emphasize a scattering. This is not one of the situations where everyone's going to get a thunderstorm. This could be pretty widely scattered in nature. We're still pretty uncertain as to the coverage of the storms uh, during the late afternoon and evening. But with this kind of air mass in place, any thunderstorm that does manage to get up on its feet, uh, especially between, say, 4 and 8 p.m., could bring down some strong winds, and there could be some hailstones. And the tornado risk is not zero, but it is low. But it's been that kind of season so far. Or even on the most marginal days, we're getting storms trying to rotate. So we don't want to totally discount the, the possibility of an isolated tornado tomorrow, even though I think it is pretty unlikely. But, you know, I've said that a handful of times this spring, and we've had some surprise tornadoes. So stay weather aware tomorrow. And the first thing we might see is actually kind of a renegade shower or storm right around midday. I don't think there's likely to be any severe weather with this, but there might be a, a quick downpour and a, a shower here and there right around lunchtime on our Wednesday. Now, as we get into the mid to late afternoon and the atmosphere becomes much more unstable, it's interesting, you know, this particular model, I showed you this last evening as well, <clears throat> it doesn't want to spin up much. And there are other models that have more activity. There are some models that look kind of like this, where the coverage is questionable. The severity um, of any storm, again, could be noteworthy. But the coverage may not be all that noteworthy. It may be very, very hit or miss late afternoon, early evening. So stay up with the latest uh, forecasts uh, in your usual uh, uh, places that you find our, our content, whether it be on YouTube or on social media and on our newscasts, of course, 21 News tonight at 11 and on WFMJ today, tomorrow morning. This front will kind of limp through then tomorrow night. And because it's really slowing down, I think we're going to keep that threat for showers for much of our Wednesday night, first thing Thursday morning. But by midday at the latest on Thursday, I think we're, we're drying out. Could there be some residual showers down towards Pittsburgh for a while? Maybe. But in our television viewing area, I think it actually is just going to turn mostly sunny probably as Thursday afternoon wears on and those dew points will start lowering. And that'll set the stage for a pretty nice day coming up on our Friday. So those dew points, uh, they start lowering Thursday afternoon. Uh, 
They're in the relatively comfortable category for a lot of the day Friday. The dew points are going to try to creep up during parts of the upcoming weekend. Now, the weekend forecast is still a little bit in flux as far as the timing of showers and storms, individual weather systems. The latest run of the, <clears throat> the model that's painting this graphic actually shows a decrease in dew points on Sunday because it has a front coming through um, before Saturday is through. There's not real strong model agreement on that idea. But bottom line for you for the weekend, it's still too early to really get too specific. And if you have outdoor plans at this point, I would not cancel them, whether it be Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. If I had a graduation party or a yard sale or something planned this weekend, I would not think about alternative plans right now. Stay tuned, though, as we continue to fine-tune this forecast. As it stands now, all three days, we have at least the chance of a shower or a storm, whether they're more likely in the afternoon, the evening, the morning. It's still pretty early in the game to get that specific. Uh, a lot of people, of course, have outdoor plans Memorial Day weekend, and so uh, we'll, we'll continue talking a lot about it over the next couple of days. Now, one thing for sure, um, this kind of heat that we're experiencing right now with highs well up into the 80s, even pushing 90. I don't think it's likely to return anytime real soon once the <laughs> pardon me, once this air mass kind of breaks towards the end of this week. Yes, there are some warm days in our forecast, 80 or so during parts of the upcoming weekend, but upper 80s to around 90, I don't see that kind of air mass returning until at least after the first week of June. This is today's 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, and I like how they have the below average temperatures favored during this time frame across our area. Is it going to be cold? No, it's late May, early June. It's not going to be cold, but uh, some days cooler than the average, which is in the mid 70s by that time of the year. Yeah, I think that's a possibility for the very end of May in the start of June. I also think that the, the pattern not only will be a cooler one, but it'll be a little less uh, active and prone to severe weather episodes for a time anyway, at the end of this month and the start of June. Good news for those who are a little storm weary after a very active start to the severe weather season, not only locally, but throughout most of Ohio and Western PA as well. Tomorrow evening on Weather for Weather Geeks, if we do a video tomorrow evening, we'll talk more about the upcoming weekend and much, much more. Now, if we have severe weather ongoing or threats of severe weather ongoing, we'll probably do a live stream in lieu of Weather for Weather Geeks on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and as always, stay weather aware on a day that has at least the chance of turning a little bit bumpy.